the Silicon Valley Congressman Ro Khanna. He sits on the House Oversight Committee. Nice to have you back with us. Tweed, great to be back on. Well, the Trump administration is making clear that it plans to defy every single investigation that House Democrats uh, throw uh, his way. How are you planning to fight this and get the information you're seeking without letting this drag on for months, possibly? Well, first of all, it's very unfortunate and it's unprecedented. Every White House fights with Congress. But this White House is not giving us a single document. They're not allowing a single aide to testify. I think Hillary Clinton's op-ed recently is instructive. During Watergate, Sam Irwin threatened to have the sergeant of arms uh, go after folks who weren't testifying. We will uh, hold these folks in contempt. And we will go to the courts to enforce the basic separation of powers. And several members of Congress, including Jared Huffman and Maxine Waters of California, are calling for impeachment. Where do you stand on that? I think we first have to do our jobs. I'm where Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton are. Let's have the committees do their work. Let's have people like Bob Mueller and Don McGahn, the former White House counsel, testify. Let it be on live television. And let's build the case for the American people first. Uh, Abraham Lincoln said public sentiment is everything. We have to carry the American people uh, with us, and we first have to let the committees do their work. But, you know, do Democratic lawmakers like Jared Huffman have a point when they say that, uh, you know, there's plenty in the Mueller report to show obstruction of justice, and if you don't impeach now, you are not upholding your constitutional responsibility, but rather instead letting political calculations dictate this process. Do lawmakers on the Democratic side who hold this point of view have a point? No one wants politics to dictate this. There's not going to be some poll that determines whether we should impeach or not. But I think the constitutional responsibility is to be deliberative and to let the process play out. I mean, we just got the Mueller report. We shouldn't rush to, the ju to judgment. What we should do is have the hearings and see where the facts lead and have the testimonies. That's the process with, which was followed with uh, uh, Watergate. I mean, there was a year and a half of uh, testimony in front of committees before a decision was made. The Republicans didn't follow that process with Clinton, and most people feel that that impeachment was premature. Uh, I think uh, having a process and seeing where the facts lead is the most responsible way of fulfilling our obligation to the Constitution. Meanwhile, the threat of Russian meddling remains. Uh, just today, FBI Director Chris Wray called Russia's meddling in the U.S. Um, election process a significant counterintelligence threat. He says that they're campaigning 365 days a year to be disruptive to our process. Uh, yet earlier in the week, Jared Kushner, the president's advisor and son-in-law, dismissed Russian election, election hacking, basically saying it's, quote, you know, maybe a couple of Facebook ads. So if you have the situation where the White House is essentially dismissing the threat, how confident can we be that our 2020 elections, uh, the integrity of that will be safe from foreign interference? Well, Chris Ray is absolutely right. The Mueller report concluding concluded that there was sweeping and systematic Russian interference. This wasn't just a couple Facebook ads. The Russians hacked into county governments, into state governments, into former secretaries of state. And we remain very vulnerable to interference, not just from Russia, but from many foreign powers. That's why I've been trying to work on a bipartisan basis with Kevin McCarthy to say, let's do something to improve the coordination between law enforcement and tech platforms to make sure that we aren't vulnerable to these kind of cyber attacks. And what we, are you doing with uh, How are you and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy going to attack this? Well, what we need is legislation that gives uh, greater resources for law enforcement to cooperate with tech companies and that has greater accountability for tech companies to eliminate uh, possible foreign agents or bots on their platforms. Uh, we need real guidelines. Uh, I have an op-ed I published with Ambassador McFall that goes through three or four very concrete steps of what tech companies can do in cooperating with law enforcement, and we want legislation uh, that would make that possible. What are some of the steps? What are well, the top what, two? Well, the first step would be uh, that we need greater funding for law enforcement to work with tech so that there's a common platform which all tech companies participate in. So if there's, let's say, some agent that's a Russian agent on one platform, uh, everyone can remove that. Right now, there's not that coordination. A second step would be that uh, campaigns need to get uh, security uh, training from law enforcement agencies so they're not vulnerable to the type of hacks that John Podesta was vulnerable to uh, with uh, the Clinton campaign. Let's talk about